I started off as a consultant. I worked for a company called Anderson Consulting, and I did several years consulting and became a manager. And the further away I got from technology, was I'm, the more I missed it. So the more I got into managing and that whole piece of it, I realized I wanted to be more hands-on. So after five years with Anderson, I went to a company called uh, PeopleSoft, and I became a developer where I was, you know, just heads down coding all day long. And while I gained great technical knowledge and great technical skills and great experience, there was a piece that was not truly fulfilling me, which was the interaction with other people. Because literally, I could stay in my office all day coding and never come out. But that did not fit who I was. I needed to talk to people. I needed to interact with people. So I stumbled across another position at PeopleSoft called a technical trainer. And I was kind of apprehensive and somebody, my manager who was very friendly is like, you know, you're good at what you do, but I don't feel like it's going, it totally utilizes your skills. So she recommended that I apply for this job. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was really apprehensive. But I did, and it was the best thing I ever did, because I, I never knew what a technical trainer was. And I fell into that career, and here I was, staying abreast of technology, still staying hands-on with technology, yet interacting with people. And I got to travel the world. And that's a whole nother layer when you start teaching in different cultures, what, what that's like as well. So that it all kind of just fell together. Um, and I think it did because I remained open to sort of opportunities that came to me.